go. First bluegill, you guys. First, first bluegill today, very small one. It's not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for the gigantic ones. All right, guys, today I'm gonna be fishing with a uh, a beetle spin. Now I see the I see the grass and water super clear, and you can see the drop out right there. So that's where I'm going at. I'm thinking they would be right in that area. There we go. Got another one. Got a good one right here. Oh, that's a bass. That's why I felt like a good one. Now you're gonna get a couple bass with this uh, beetle spin too. So make sure you got the, your drag set right. You don't want to lose that. But that's my only one too, so I don't want to lose that one. Uh, I got some nice. Ooh, I got a big old gill, you guys. Look at this big old gill. Now these what I'm talking about. These them Lake Providence. These the old Lake Providence, half a pound, you guys. Over half a pound. There you go. There you go. Look at that big old gill. It's a uh, copperhead and a bluegill hybrid. And it's a uh, hand size, man size, pan size. Let me wait for y'all. I'll wait this first one. Give y'all an idea of what I'm catching out here. That can't be no one pound. It's a big, it's a big bluegill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this over again. Hold on. nine ounces you guys nine ounces a little bit over half a pound let's try one time here yep now that one said eight ounces the other one said nine ounces so i take that half a pound bluegill There you go, hand size. It ain't covering my hand. It ain't hiding my hand, like uh, and going way down my wrist, like uh, Providence. But it's pretty big. First one of the day, you guys. First one of the day. We can let them go back. Water crystal clear. Took off instantly. All right, let me try. Let me try uh, this one right here. I think this one will go a little bit further. No, nah, about the same distance. There we go, got one. What we got here? This is a little bass. Little bass, neighborhood pond. And flag all the way around, so that's pretty cool. That's real cool, that's a, that's a nice sight right there. It goes all the way around and they got it up here. So that's a pretty cool sight. Oh, that's a good one. It's like a copper. 
It's probably a mixture too of a bluegill hybrid, a bluegill and a uh, copper head, a copper nose. All right, so I'm, what I'm, I got my stuff up here. Hopefully nobody mess with it. Let me, bring, let me go and get it, hold on. I'm kind of ducked off here. I might stay right here for the remainder of the day. So I think I'm just gonna stay here and fish right here for the remainder of the day. How you doing? Doing good. So I'm kind of ducked off. I'm gonna see if anything will bite right in here. Now I got that one casting up along that water. So what I'm gonna do is uh, tip a uh, tip this uh, 116 ounce jig head with this Cajun cricket with a crappie bite. Now I'm gonna just throw, throw along that, that wall there and see if I can get a couple more. Yep, you see that? Soon, like, soon as they hit. Soon, it's a good one too. You see that you you too? Ooh, that's a pretty one. There you go, YouTube. Very, very pretty fish here. On the Cajun cricket. You don't want me, okay, there you go. So guys, remember when you're out fishing and you're fishing these neighborhood ponds, ladies too, remember to look for these little spillways. You look, it's, uh, that's a spillway, that's what it's called, a spillway. The water's dripping out. Fish it, fish in this area. Cast where the water is coming in at. So not right in this area, but cast it out where the water coming in, cause the fish is thinking something falling in and they just shooting up grabbing it. That's just a tip for the day, okay? Let's get back at it. Now, if you come and fish this area, you make sure to look around or areas like this because just because you're in the city, it's wooded, it's wood and grass, so it's not like a snake can't be around though. It's by their water, it's wood, they can, they can be around, trust me. Laying right next to you. You just never, never know. There we go, you go. Oh, he let it go. It is a nice, nice bluegill right there. I'm not gonna lie to you, very nice. Little bass. This is a little, it's a large mouth. There you go. They just put it away, you guys. They just She got one duck, you guys. She got one duck. 
Didn't make it. A whole bunch of them probably didn't make it. Oh no, she got no, she got about three of them. She got three to four, five, six. No, five. She got five. All right, okay. She doing good. They normally have about ten of them. So let's see if anything can hit this road runner. Before it get too late and I leave out of here. This pond got big fish in here, you guys. Just gotta find them. I know they do, I don't caught a few of them. Hope to hit that joke as soon as it went out there. Got that, yep, got it all. Bluegill. Got that uh, crappie bite all. I tell you what, with crappie bite ain't gonna work with bluegill. Mm -mm. They look too aggressive. They look too aggressive. It's a good cast. They go on that bottom. And just bring it on back and see what happens. There we go. Got one. Good one too. Good gear you got. He digging. There you go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So that's a hybrid again. They uh a bluegill and a copper nose. They just got different colors. There you go. That's a pretty one right there. So this kind of gold, the, the black stripes, the copper no, copper hit right here on the on the head. Ain't got an orange right here. Might have some some um. Might have a little everything in it. All right. Throw back out there. I'm trying to get up under there. Hmm. I don't know if y'all saw that. That line tightened up. That's a good throw. That's a good throw. Sometimes they'll be up under that bridge. See how that line just jump? Ooh, man. Lord have mercy. You got they all up under there. bass I'll take it there we go oh bass they're not big out here yet in a way I'm pretty sure some big ones in here they go another small all about the same size I'm having a great day YouTube having a great day casting out letting it drop all the way to the bottom now this right here seems like the, about the, the deepest part of this pond over there about four feet, three feet, but here like about 10. And when it hit the bottom, I'm bringing it back up and I'm coming up to drop off. And just hoping anything is hanging around that, you know, and just and take it. I couldn't find those spun and gills, but I think 
I would say they're over there along that shoreline. And I can't get over there. It would be cool to see if it was a crop if a crappie would hit to see if one was in here. I'm gonna come at an angle, see if anything can hit. I got a, got a hit just then. Didn't take it, but I did get a hit. I'm gonna come down this little bank here, see what happens. Do I got one? Oh, I can't even tell you. Yeah, I got one. Another bass. Ooh, he got off. That was a good one. That was a good one. That road runner strikes again. That road runner strikes again, YouTube. Another bass. Boy, they coming off, you guys. Ooh, they coming off. They messing with me now. It just ain't going out far enough. For me, that's all it is. That went out a little bit, a little bit further. There we go, got one. Oh, he let it go. Mm -hmm. All right, YouTube, I'm about to call it a day. Now, I had an okay day, I guess I caught some fish, but it wasn't a great day. Just scouting, so I get this place a probably a C minus just because I caught fish. Um, I come back one day with some worms and dissect it a little bit more. Uh, I know some big gills in here cause a few years back I caught some. There's some red ears in here too, but I, I caught some small ones, but I know some big ones in here cause I heard about this place. But uh, I just think uh, the, the grass in here is real, real high, especially along the uh, uh, shoreline. So they out in the middle. Or oh, they're on that other side where those cattails at. But you can't get over there. But uh C minus, of course. I might come back in about four weeks, maybe, maybe mid-June or something, and come out here with some red worms and dissect it out again. Uh but uh as always, thanks for watching. 
thanks for liking the comment and subscribing i appreciate it everyone and uh i'm gonna go and grab me some eat and call it day so you guys have a great wednesday night and uh i can't wait to the weekend because so i'm gonna try to make a copy video you guys wish me wish me the best on that so we'll see what happens peace